Hi, BWC. Pastor Casey here from the Lehighton campus. I'm wishing you a happy Wednesday. If you're tuning in as this video premieres or uh, if you're checking it out later, then happy whatever day it is. If you're not keeping track of the days anymore, that's okay too. Uh, I think a lot of us are in that boat. Today we're going to start by talking just a little bit about stories, and so I, I challenge you in these first this first minute to just think of your favorite story. Maybe it's a book, uh, a movie, a television series that has a really good uh, overarching storyline. Think some of the characters and the plot, maybe why you like it, the things that it made you feel. Uh, I've liked stories ever since I was a little kid, and my parents, my mom and dad would read to me before bed. Um, you know, the golden books, I, I remember those. Um, Charlie Brown Encyclopedia, we picked those up in the grocery store. Um, they didn't really tell a story, but they made me feel smart, so maybe that's not a great example. Uh, and then as I got older into elementary school, uh, I remember I loved the Hardy Boys collection. I think I have every book of those hard back blue cover books. I think they're all still back in my parents' basement. I love the Goosebumps. Uh, and then as I moved into middle and high school, I fell in love with the writings of C.S. Lewis and J.R.R. Tolkien and the Chronicles of Narnia and the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Both the books and the movies, fantastic. To this day, they're one of my favorite stories and I've, I've watched and read them probably more times than I should admit. Uh, but the thing I like about stories is they really have the power to motivate us, to change us, to help us see things in a different way. They, they teach us, they make us feel things, um, they inspire us. Um, stories can be pretty powerful, particularly well-told stories. Uh, stories can even change whole societies. A few years ago, I was introduced to a documentary titled Chuck Norris versus Communism. Um, that, the documentary, it's a film, it's available. I believe it's even free on Amazon Prime. So if you wanna check it out, go ahead and do it. Um, but it tells the story of how Western films, Western movies helped to bring down the fall of communism in Romania. And what they did, um, secret underground translators in Romania would, would get films from places like the United States and they would translate them into Romanian and distribute them to um, to just the, the, the common people. And this picture of what life was like outside of the very strict, dark communist regime inspired people. It made them see the world in a different way. And it is attributed, particularly the films, believe it or not, of Chuck Norris, uh, of bringing down the communist government, of inspiring people to to seek something better. It's actually a really good film. Unlike most of Chuck Norris's, it got 100% um, on Rotten Tomatoes. So check it out uh, if you want an extra assignment for the week. It's pretty good. Um, we're not talking about Chuck Norris or, um, or any of those stories that I like, though. We're talking today about Scripture and the Bible and the series that we're going through called Grow. It's all about how we grow in our faith and our relationship with Christ. Um, and I want to talk to a little bit of a history lesson. The roots of the Wesleyan Church, they go back to um, the teachings of an Anglican priest named John Wesley, and one of his theological contributions is his teaching about what he called means of grace. And they're just the way, the most common ways that people experience the healing, the transforming, forgiving, freeing, sanctifying, equipping power of God and the Holy Spirit. And primary for John Wesley among these means was, was the Bible, it's scripture. But I think one of the challenges for Christians today is we're not super comfortable interacting with our Bibles or with scripture. Maybe we've come from a faith tradition where that hasn't been encouraged. Um, maybe we um, just haven't really been taught how to do it, knowing how to interact. With scripture. We understand that it's important, but knowing what we do with it can be a challenge for us. We have a Bible, but we don't know what to do with it. Some parts are confusing. We, we have trouble getting through long portions of it that don't make sense to us. Um, some parts seem to disagree with the other parts. We don't know what to do with what we've read, or how, how do we apply it to our lives? How do we interpret it? We can't answer all these questions in a short devotional, but what we can do is talk about one challenge, and that's how we're going to close our time. Talk about one challenge. We don't know how to read the Bible. We're not very good at 
reading the Bible as a story. You know, our, our daily devotionals, maybe they teach us that we can sit down and digest verses, um, different parts of Scripture. We can spend one day in Romans and the next day in in. 1 Samuel, um, we can read this chunk from Genesis and then this chunk from Revelation, but we're not very good at understanding how the parts fit into the story as a whole. To know that all the parts working together, the individual books, tell one story, uh, a story from Genesis all the way to Revelation, and it's a unified story of Jesus Christ. And that's true story, like, like some of the fictional stories that we love, or maybe even some of the true stories we love. It's a story that when we let it get into us, when we absorb it, it can really change us. It can motivate us. It can give us the power and the inspiration to see our world in a different way. Um, and so that, that's pretty awesome. That concept, reading the Bible as a story, I believe is one of the things that, that Moses was saying when he gives the Israelites these instructions before they enter the promised land. This is a very well-known passage of scripture from Deuteronomy chapter 6. And he gives them this great command. He says, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength. These commandments that I give you today are to be on your hearts. Impress them on your children. Talk about them when you sit at home and when you walk along the road and when you lie down and when you get up. Tie them as symbols on your hands and bind them on your foreheads. Write them on door frames of your houses and on your gates. I think the heart of what Moses is saying in these scriptures is he's encouraging people to make the stories of their faith, make the stories of God's great redemption of his people um, from creation to the exodus. Um, part of your everyday life. Tell them. Um, get them into you. Because if you do, then that will change the way you think about the world and the way you think about God. And so our challenge this week is to spend a little bit of time um, reading Scripture as a story and understanding the story of Scripture. I encourage you to do this every week, but especially this week. There's some really great resources in the follow-up devotional that can be found in the description or on the media tab of our website, bethanywest.org. Check those out. There is not, um, there's not a devotional for every day of the week. There's not a passage of scripture to read, but there's a resource that might help equip you to do that. And so for, for follow-up this week, um, please think about doing this. Please check out that website. It's a little bit different than, than reading a scripture and answering a question. What you'll find if you access this devotional study is a challenge to read a story from scripture in its entirety. Um, there's some questions that will be found in the devotional to help you along the way, to help you think about it, and some resources and suggestions. So please, please check it out. You can pick any story you want. Um, some great books of the Bible, Ruth, Jonah, Esther, they're all small, um, four or five chapters, you can do that. Pick one of the Gospels, the Gospel of John um, or the Gospel of Mark. Don't worry about getting lost in details or doing word studies. Um, or theme studies, or, or spending all your time in those footnotes at the bottom of your study Bible. Make it your goal to read a portion, read a story of Scripture in its entirety this week, and check out those additional resources found on our website. Let's pray together. God, thank you um, for, uh, for what you are doing in and through us, even in these trying and difficult times. And for those of us who might find some, some more time or some unstructured time. Help us to use it wisely. Help us to use it to grow closer to you, grow closer in relationship with you, and so that we're better able to understand you and then love you and take that love into a world that needs to know you, that needs to know the comfort and the joy and the peace that you can bring. Make your word, um, your word incarnate, but also your word as recorded in scripture, a priority for us this week. Help us to spend some time in it. Um, help us to spend some time in the story, um, thinking about the story that is told here of your people, but more importantly, of you and your love for them. Through your son, Jesus Christ, help us to find our place in that story. We love you. Thank you for this time and the opportunity that we have to learn from you. Thank you for technology that makes it possible. We love you. We pray all these things in the name of your son and in the power of your Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks, BWC. Be sure to check out those resources in the description and online. We hope you're doing well. We're praying for you, and we'll see you next week.